what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel here we are with part two of the series if you guys missed series one of installing the Cobb access port then go check that video out um, the link will be in the box below and now right now we are going to I was trying to figure out what order I kind of wanted to do everything in and honestly if I'm gonna do the injectors and the flex fuel kit I kind of need to already take out the top mount so I'm going to actually start with, since I've been waiting on for the exhaust to cool down after driving all day, um, I'm going to start working on getting that downpipe bolts, you know, broken and, you know, be able to take them off. I got some, uh, some extra help over here, um, you know, some WD-40 to kind of help. Uh, Plus, once I remove that anyway, I can kind of get to everything else and makes life a whole lot easier. So, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you guys kind of how to get to the downpipe, uh, what's the best way to tackle it, and I'm going to try my best to show you guys. I know I can't really do like a step-by-step -step type of video or have it running or time-lapse video, so I'm just going to show you guys kind of my walkthrough and then I'm gonna do the work and then take it out and then come back to it and show you guys what I'm gonna do next so whenever I want to get to the downpipe if you guys can see let me get this light real quick um, you really can't get to the downpipe bolts until you remove the top mount intercooler so what we're gonna do is that bolt right there this one is going to be taken out. We are going to unbolt that little on the actual uh, to the turbo. We're going to unbolt that. If this would actually, let me see. Hold on, guys. There is right in there, right there, there's a clamp that you have to take a flathead to and undo that. And then. You have to get pretty much, I would technically, uh, can't remember which way I did. I'm pretty sure I would take this one off. And then there is these two bolts, which are 12 millimeter that need to come off. Just these two right here. And then there are 10 millimeter bolts right here and right here that need to come off this way. This will sit up and then there's one more 12 millimeter bolt right here. And then you just have to push this out the way. And then this intercooler should just come up. So I'm going to get that done real quick and then I'll be back. All right. So pretty much with all the bolts out, this bolt right here, uh, these two 12 millimeter bolts, uh, the two 10 millimeter bolts, and then the one 12 millimeter bolt over here. And with this one undone with the flathead and then the one that's clamped to the turbo, uh, you can pretty much wiggle this out It's kind of a pain to kind of fight with it, but it will come out you wiggle it and then it comes out So let me get this out and I'll be back So as you guys can see I just wiggled it out. It's right there and As you guys can see over here that As you guys can see you still have this silver bracket right here. I normally just uh I'll unbolt it and for right now just to get better leverage over there um, and then as you can see you can see the downpipe bolts and they're barely ever moved so that's why I got the BB blaster and a couple other things so I'm gonna spray these down and then I'll be back with you guys uh, I can't really get the camera over there too much but I pretty much put PB blaster on this bolt right here and then another one right here, there's one more down here, then one directly under, and then there's one more on the side over here. These are 14 millimeter bolts, and I'm going to work on getting those bolts out real quick. So five total bolts um, that hold that down pipe, but then the rest of the stuff has to, you have to get from the bottom. So as you guys can see, I'm literally doing this on the ground. I'm not using no lift or anything like that. I'm just kind of, I have no lift to use right now, but also I feel like a lot of people don't use lifts. They're going to do the same thing like this. So um, at the current moment, what we're going to do 
is we have two jack stands. We're going to lift up the rear end from the diff and put jack stands under, make sure it's not gonna fall. We're gonna lift it high enough to start taking apart this exhaust. And then once we get the back part of the exhaust um, lubricated and all that, like when I'm talking about when, I'm talk when I say the lubrication, I mean the actual uh, mounts. If you loop them up, they're a lot easier to get off. Just future reference, all right? A lot of people just leave them dry and try to push them out and it's a pain in the ass. I always loop them up and then move them out the way. I forgot how these exhausts hook up. I'm pretty sure there's uh, it separates from the mufflers and into the mid pipe. So we're gonna get these these whole muffler section out at least and then work our way towards the front of the car. Um, let me actually move these out the way. That way I can show you what's in it. Opening this up, what do we have here? So we have the whole package. Dang, it's actually just like a big, like, actual kit kit. That's pretty cool, and they gave us a little um, stick of Potomac. That's pretty cool, so all the bolts, all that's right there. Um, I did order this, the little dock mount that I showed you guys. Uh, I'll install that soon. What else do we have in here? This is pretty heavy, I'm just not sure what's actually in it. And that's pretty cool, I really didn't, realize that this came with ties like this. Ooh, I think we can have some fun wrapping the downpipe in this. So I think this is what it is. And yes, it is. So this is the downpipe. I did go with a Tomei um, downpipe, Catless. You know, obviously off-road use only. Let me put that right there. That's literally the size of it. It's actually pretty nicely designed. And then this is the rest of it. Voila. So as you guys can see, it actually comes with two ports uh, for the rear O2, but that's why we have a wide band to actually install. If you guys did not know that these cars, um, while we're talking about downpipes with rear O2 bombs, these cars only come with the narrow band. The 2015 WRXs and up, the FA20s, come with a wide band. It reads accurate wide band AFR at idle and in closed loop. As soon as it goes to open loop, it most likely on these cars it'll just go to 11 and that's where it's just going to stay um but it doesn't mean that the car is actually at 11. uh if you're one of the people that decided to put a random intake on uh what can happen is, is the wide band on the car well the narrow band but the cob access port will say wide band or afr sensor one will read 11 but if you actually hook an actual afr gauge like an AEM wideband or innovative um, it could read 12 or 13 so that's why I tell most of my customers get a wideband actual gauge wideband or inline one like I have up there and plug it into that and then you connect there's a harness that one of the series videos will be on Visconti just made one uh, iWire has one that you can literally hook it up to the rear O2 plug and you can get actual readings from the wideband up to the Cobb access port. And I'm gonna go and explain that. But as of right now, we're talking about the downpipes and I'm about to jack this up and I'll be back. All right, so I only went up just a little bit. This should be enough for me to fit under there and get most of this stuff. I just have to go up to the front and jack that part up with the actual jack just to get up there but we're gonna work back here all right guys so you have one muffler and then you got another muffler right there so you guys can see you have a lot more room and 
and it's just this piece left. There is one more mount uh, for the rubber bracket right there. And then, then we get to move up to the front and finish that. Right at the mid part, there's uh, two bolts that connect to the spring. Uh, spring on each side. We have to take both of those bolts out and then unplug the rear O2. And then we are pretty much good to go. And the downpipe will come straight out. Taking down the downpipe once you get the cap back off down there and the bolts up at the top of the downpipe, you have that bolt right there that connects to the hanger. And then you have this bolt right here that connects to the downpipe. Just this little bracket right here. Once those two are out, then you can push that tab back and then take this downpipe off. The new downpipe is in, all bolts are on. So you guys can see under here. It's right there. Um, I now need to unbox the cap back of this. So I'm gonna do that, unbox it, and then I'll be right back. So I finally unboxed everything. Um, this is the Tomei. Uh, this is it. It's such a beauty. All titanium. So I'm gonna get this all together and then I'll be back once again. I'm just gonna install it, get the downpipe and exhaust in, and then I probably won't. I can probably start it for a quick second so you guys can hear a cold start and all that, but um, I might have to save that for the morning. It is kind of late, but uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. All right, guys, so finally got the whole Tome exhaust on. Go. You guys can see down here, and all the way back up to the front. And obviously, it's too a little too dark to see, but Tomei downpipe is also on catless. Um, I just kind of go rogue sometimes. Should always do cat it. Just just to let you guys know. But it is already 1 a.m. I'm gonna keep working working on the next series. I'm just trying to get this all done before tomorrow. Um, the exhaust is in. I showed you guys, you know, bits and pieces of how to install them, where to look for, and things like that. That was the main point of this whole video. So, thanks for watching. If you did, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like, please subscribe. And the next series is probably going to be um, doing this Visconti harness. So, series three. Is the Visconti harness hooking that all up, making sure that all the connections are fine. And like I said, he just made it. He hasn't put it out in release yet, so he's giving me the chance to actually go ahead and do it for him. So I'm gonna make a video on it, the install, uh, the whole process, the whole nine yards. So hopefully it works. <laughs> and if it does, hey man, shout out to you, Visconti. But uh, peace out, guys.